In Underlings of Underwing, two to six dragon tamers gather in the nesting grounds of Underwing during the Great Hatching, eager to become the next great dragon lord. The game is played over a number of rounds, each of which are divided into four phases. At the end of each round, the player one egg token is passed to the left and a new round begins. Depending on the number of tamers participating, a game can last anywhere from 12 to 19 rounds. At the end of the game, the tamer with the most dragon points is proclaimed the winner. In order to earn your place as Dragon Lord, accumulate the most dragon points by hatching the most valuable dragon eggs, and earn bonus points by taming the most dragons of the same color temperature or by having a perfect color balance. You will need to carefully manage your staff of handlers, collect and use elemental crystals to hatch eggs, and know which hatchlings you should tame and which to let roam wild. Before you start playing, however, make sure your play area looks like this. This is the egg deck. Cards are pulled from this pile to create the hatching grounds here. The element crystals are kept in the parts bag to be drawn at certain times during gameplay and placed onto egg cards in the hatching grounds. This is the field mat where you can assign your handlers to grant access to specific element crystals you need to hatch eggs. And this is the tracker mat, where players track the number of handlers they currently control as well as the current game round. Each player should take two handlers of their chosen color and place them in the break room area of their player mat. Give the player one egg token to the person who most recently ate eggs in real life, and now you're ready to begin. Each phase will always begin with the player holding the egg token and pass to the left. Phase 1, Element Collection. During this phase, players collect a number of element crystals equal to the number of handlers they currently control. For each of your handlers outside of the field mat, draw a random crystal from the back. Handlers in the field, as well as some dragon effects, grant you the option of drawing a specific element crystal. If you wish, you may opt out of any of these guaranteed draws and decide to draw randomly instead. Whatever combination you decide, make sure your random draws are first. The number of crystals you draw must not exceed the number of handlers under your control unless specifically granted by a dragon effect. After each player has collected their elements, the next phase begins with the player holding the egg token. Phase 2. Move and Assign Handlers This phase is all about managing your handlers to get things done. First, move any handlers currently in the field one space clockwise. Notice that the white element space is not on the track with the other spaces. This spot is inaccessible from the other element spaces. Handlers may only be placed here during the second part of the move and assign phase. If a handler started this phase on the white element space, it moves directly to the break room and may not make another move until phase two of the next round. Next, each player chooses one handler to assign or unassign, either from the break room onto a chosen field space or an unclaimed egg card, or from either the field mat or hatching grounds back into the break room. When assigning your handlers, remember, any new handlers gained in the previous round are eligible for this action. A handler that was returned to the break room from the white space at the beginning of this phase may not be moved again until the next round. Handlers may only be placed on eggs free of other handlers, and on the field mat, Two of your own handlers may never occupy the same space. However, handlers from different players are allowed to share a single space. After all players have completed their moves, continue to the next phase. Phase 3, Imbuing Eggs. During this phase, each player must place one element for each dragon handler they control, regardless of where they are currently assigned. When all of the element spaces on an egg have been filled with the appropriate color, it is ready to hatch. If an egg is finished while occupied by a handler, leave it alone for now. It will be claimed in the next phase. Eggs completed in the absence of a handler, however, are hatched immediately, applying their red banner effects and occupying that space for the rest of the game. Be careful, if at any time the hatching grounds are filled with these wild dragons, the game ends and nobody is proclaimed Dragon Lord. To fulfill the color requirements of an egg card, place a crystal into an element space of the matching color. You can also combine elements of primary colors to fill an element space of a secondary color. For example, a red and blue crystal can be placed on a purple element spot. To create a black element, combine crystals of either all three primary or all three secondary colors. The white element, however, may not be created. It can only be gained through a random draw by having a handler on the white space in phase one or from a dragon effect. After all players have placed their required number of elements, continue to the next phase. Phase 4, Hatching and Claiming Eggs. In this phase, players gather newly claimed eggs and hatch any that were gathered in the previous round. First, gather claimed eggs completed this round from the hatching grounds into your play area. Return the crystals from the egg to the bag, but keep the handler on the egg until you can hatch it in phase four of the next round. Next, move the handlers from eggs claimed in the previous round in your player area into the break room. 
and flip the egg dragon side up. At this point, resolve the positive green banner effects granted for taming the dragon. After all players have finished hatching and gathering eggs, fill any vacant spaces in the hatching grounds from left to right, top to bottom, and pass the player one egg token to the left. Advance the round tracker one space to the right, and phase one of the new round begins. Play continues this way until the round tracker reaches one and triggers the final round of play. In the final round, claimed eggs are hatched immediately and their positive effects resolve. At the end of the final round, add up your dragon points. Add 15 bonus points to the player with the most warm dragons, the most cool dragons, and another 20 for perfect temperature balance. If there are any ties for most warm or most cool dragons, each player involved is awarded the point bonus. And that, Dragon Tamers, is how to play Underlings of Underwing. Thanks for watching, and good luck in your quest to become Dragon Lord.